There's no doubt that John Mayer has been a huge influence on my guitar playing. He was kind of that first guy for me uh, when I first picked up the guitar back in 2005. Ever since then, I've just kind of honed in on his his playing style, his techniques, and uh, even the gear and tone that uh, he's known for. And something in the past couple years I've come to realize is he's a trendsetter in the guitar community. And I think a lot of that is he's our modern day guitar hero, especially for those of us in our mid to late 20s, early 30s, kind of my age bracket. A um, couple ways he's doing being a trendsetter is number one, his playing style. Um, once he started doing that little bend and tap thing from the I guess I just feel like solo, everyone's starting to do that. Another way is in the uh, gear market. Once uh, he started using the Marshall Blues Breaker Mark One and the Ibanez TS10, uh, those prices started going crazy high. I remember buying uh, Ibanez TS10 for like 120 bucks back in college and sold it well before I should have. And now they're going for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But that's another way. But another way is in the way he uses those effects, um, mainly chorus. And for me personally, chorus never appealed to me. I don't know why. Every time I thought of chorus, I would think 80s DI with really wide chorusing. And now that appeals to me, but back then it didn't. So I just kind of put it out of mind, out of sight. But then comes the John Mayer album, The Search for Everything and the helpless solo and it's obvious there's a stereo tri-chorus on that solo take it away and it, it's just loses its mojo and then fast forward to sob rock and chorus is painted all over the album uh, last train home and we also have shot in the dark it's on there as well so something that i really really like about the way john uses chorus and now i'm just kind of obsessed with is it's super subtle and it's slow moving in the way it modulates. And I think it really adds to uh, the tone. It thickens it, but also tightens it a little bit. Um, if you've watched any Joe Bonamassa rig rundowns, he uses, uh, it's, I believe it's a TC electronics chorus. And I think it's going into the effects loop of just one amp or something, but he mentions that if you were to take it away, um, you would just kind of lose something. And I think he said something along the lines of it tightens up the bottom end, which I can totally understand. Um, listening to some solos that John's played with chorus, you can totally tell that it just kind of brings it into focus. So I'm just going to play a few of the solos um, that I really love that have John's kind of chorus type effect on and at the beginning of the video was the solo from the bones and that is a Marin Morris song and that was from the Grammys performance and that was kind of the first time that I was like yeah this is this is going to be a really cool effect that I want to start using so I hope you enjoy and here's some of the sound samples <laughs> 